Hello, and a very warm welcome to all of you piano lovers the world over. I am Sarah Hager. Today I would like to play for you a piece by Eric Satie called Anossienne, and it's the first of three Anossienne. So Eric Satie was a French composer uh, of the Belle Epoque, the Belle Epoque, the beautiful epoch uh, from 1900 to 1914. As one of my students said, very short period. Yes, indeed. And in England, it's called the Edwardian period. And it was a time when Europe was at the very height of its prosperity. There had been no wars since Napoleon had been defeated at Waterloo in 1915. I mean, sorry, 1815, and except for you know minor Crimean War, and, and so um, and the wealth of the whole world was pouring into Europe, you know, uh, from from empire and uh, especially into England and France, from colonies the world over. So it was a wonderful time for Europe. 1900 Queen Victoria died and, you know, society became more relaxed under her son Edward the, Edward the Seventh, and who was quite a playboy and enjoyed life and so it was a very prosperous time for Europe. You know, science had given all its blessings to humanity, electricity, you know, elevators, there's motor cars. Of course, the motor cars at that time were only for the super rich. They were a status symbol. But uh, there were none of the curses of science. Cities being bombed from the air, as they would be from 1914 to 1918, during the First World War, and horrible wars world wars and all the terrible things that happened in the 20th century and the equally bad things that are happening in the 21st century so you know global warming and everything and in covid and so um it was rightly called the bell epoch the beautiful epoch and in a sense, you know, Debussy had already broken down the traditional harmonic, harmonic system and so had Schoenberg and Webern and they were all trying to break with the past and so was Eric Satie. So he gave these unusual names to his piano pieces like Gymnopédie, Onossian, it, these were really ancient Spartan or Greek dances about which we know very little. But the names are exotic and the music sounds a bit exotic, especially at that time because it was not traditional, it was not what people were used to, like Chopin or Brahms. Having said that by way of introduction, there are three Nocian, and this is the first of the three Nocian. So the Trois Gymnopédies, Trois is French for three, uh, the Trois Gymnopédies, very popular, you know, in New York when I used to play the piano in restaurants uh, and piano bars to keep body and soul together in the late 1980s, I would constantly get requests, oh, would you please play the Trois Gymnopédies? All right, I played them. but. And just more or less sight read them. I hadn't even heard of them till these requests started coming. And then just a couple of weeks ago, I thought, you know, why don't I look at the Nossian? And I played the first of the three, and to my amazement, I fell in love with it. It was, it was so exotic and so beautiful. The first thing that jumped out at me was there were no bar lines. I've never seen a piece with no bar lines. So that was new. But when I played it, when, you know, You know, 
quadruple time jumped out at me immediately. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it is pretty much in quadruple time, even though there are no bar lines. And there is a bass so continue, you know, a continuous bass. And so on. This rhythm is unchanging. So it certainly gives a very clear rhythm to the piece. Now the melody is very exotic, you know, Middle Eastern, hauntingly beautiful and he has written long or slowly. However, I personally feel it shouldn't be played too slowly. So having fallen in love with the piece after having played it three or four times, uh, you know, after a couple of days I said, well, let me look it up on YouTube and see how other people play it. And it was a bit too slow, you know. I found the performances for my speaking only for myself. So uh, normally it, I found that most people were playing So maybe this is what Sati wanted, I don't know. But I find this quite exotic and evocative. You know, a little bit of yearning, a little bit of passion. So one of my students to whom I was started to teach it, he said, you see, but now you're playing it fast and it says slowly. I said, look, this is this is slowly, to me it's very slow, and this is what I'm playing. Now fast would be... That would be fast, so I think I'm and you're just slow to the right degree. So having discussed these fundamental aspects of the piece, there is not much to be said, except the expression marks are as unusual as the fact that there are no bar lines. He writes things like très luisant, very shiny, Questionné, questioning, postulez en vous-même, ask yourself. Now, I am really not paying much attention to these things. Au bout de la pensée, on the trip of the thought, and so on. I don't know why he did it. Maybe once again to be different, because they were breaking with the past. And uh, maybe it's also part of the exoticism uh, that uh, Eric Satie loved. But on the whole, you know, think in terms of piano, forte, tonal color, and that should be enough. Now, before making this video, I decided that I would not over-practice this. I didn't want to practice it to death and burn out. So I haven't practiced it much. So wish me luck, this is the moment where I get anxious now.
area. Thank you so much for watching. So this is an intermediate level piece that I think you will thoroughly enjoy learning and thoroughly enjoy playing. And uh, please put your comments. I'm so looking forward to your comments. You know, piano playing is a somewhat lonely business. There's nothing more satisfying for our souls, for the souls of those of us, you and me and people like us around the world who love the piano, than to sit at the piano and play. But, you know, the pianist, piano is a self-sufficient instrument. A violinist needs an accompanist, a singer needs an accompanist, a cellist needs an accompanist. Everybody needs an accompanist, except us. So while they play with other people, they play chamber music, uh, you know, duos, trios, uh, we are always alone. And even when we are practicing, we are alone. So let us have a di conversation. Let us, all of us, the world over, talk to one another. Please post your comments. Keep your comments coming. I eagerly look forward to them. And uh, having said that, uh, until next time, enjoy playing this beautiful piece by Eric Satie. It's, you can order it on Amazon. This is the edition from which I played. The first of the three Nocian by Eric Satie. Happy piano playing to all of you, including myself. Thank you.